What is going on guys? This is Spade and this video is going to be a tutorial in regards in how to watch YouTube videos in 60 frames per second uh, with smooth motion video almost like you're watching it on a high-end TV. So I came across this program through reference of a of a tech savvy person that I deal with on occasion in regards to PCs uh, and I wanted to share it with you guys and it actually has two functions, two benefits. One, it actually does YouTube videos in 60 frames per second. And then the other, it actually can convert, or not convert, but what it does, any videos that are on your computer that you have saved, that you have movies on there that you have gotten through other means or anything like that, you can actually watch them in 60 frames per second. Because 90% of the time, whenever you download movies, it's in 30 frames per second. But what this program does, it actually goes in and adds a frame in between every frame. So if you have a 30 FPS video, it'll up it to 60, and it makes it look a whole lot better, and it's really nice. I use it for everything. I use it every day, uh, and I decided to share it with you guys because I've just been wanting to make sure it didn't crash or anything like that. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it, and I want to show you guys the, the website now. Uh, let me go ahead and... Uh, lower this down that way I'm not in your way let's lower this down here and then the website is SVP dash team and this is where you're gonna come to this is what it's gonna be here let's move my face over here let's get it out of the way but this is where you're gonna come to in regards to the website page what you wanna do you wanna click on downloads over here on the left and it's going to bring you to this next page. And there's a few different versions if you want to get a few different versions, but I recommend just getting the actual main project because it comes with both things that you're going to use anyways. Uh, this The SVP Tube is a standalone program for YouTube. That's one of the things I'm going to show you. And then the Smooth Video Project main project has everything, including the player that you're going to need. And then you also have, it comes with SVP Tube in it. So you could download SVP Tube separate from here if you just wanted to watch YouTube videos in 60 frames per second. But you're going to download that and let it install how it wants to install. And then, here, let's close this down. And then you're going to go to your menu here. And it's actually going to start an, an SVP folder. That's where it's going to open. And this is where your programs are. It's going to be SVP Manager and then SVP Tube. SVP Tube is a little tricky. So what I'm going to show you, whenever you open SVP Tube, it's going to put a little drop down menu right here. And then it's actually going to pop this box up saying waiting for YouTube. And what's going to happen is anytime you copy a link, a YouTube link, it's going to automatically pop up in the player that you choose. And for this to work, you have to use their actual player that they have programmed for it. So you're going to click on your taskbar button right here. And my face is covering it up again. But you're going to click on your taskbar button, which is right here. Right click on YouTube, on the SVP YouTube logo box. And then for video player. Video player, you want to go to choose executable. Okay. And my box went away. You want to go to choose executable under video player. And then pretty much you're just going to search out this folder here, the MPC-HC. And pretty much what it is, if you're on a 64-bit system, which everybody should be nowadays, you just track it down like this. I'll show you how to track it down. You would just go to my computer, and then basically computer here, local disk, program files x86, if you're in 64-bit windows, and then SVP, the SVP folder open that and then the MPC HC open that and then you would just double click on this file right here the MPC HC to choose that as your main player so let's go ahead and close that because I already have it selected and then pretty much this is how it works let's go to YouTube right now I'll just go to my YouTube page and then let's pick a random video we'll pick one of mine that way I'm not using anybody else's stuff in here. But like I said, if you just right click and copy link address, it automatically pops up. Let's go ahead and mute that. That way it doesn't come out. 
all funky. But it's automatically going to play it. It automatically starts up. And as you just saw at the end, it's, at the bottom it said 29.97 equals 59.94. And this is how I watch YouTube videos in 60 FPS. There is a way to actually get it higher uh, for, vi for videos that are on your computer. And that will actually make them... Uh, it'll double the frames even more so if you have a 60 frame FPS video it'll actually up it to 120 I don't know how to do that I'm not I haven't messed with all the settings but by default it'll up any 30 FPS video to 60 uh, hopefully this helps you guys out in regards on how to watch YouTube videos in 60 FPS so now let's go ahead and get into how to use it on normal videos so what we're gonna do you're going to go to your taskbar windows button here all programs the SVP folder again and then there's this button here called SVP manager you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on that and it's gonna it's gonna load a little circle over here in the bottom right and as soon as it turns yellow that means it's ready to go so pretty much you wanna open that and then this is your everything to do you can do target frame rate and you can do to screen refresh rate which to minus 60 Hertz but you can actually bump it even more if you want you could double the double source frame rate you can do 25 to 60 24 to 60 source multiplier you can have all these crazy settings if you wanted to mess with anything like that I just left mine as default I don't know what uh, it's doing the 24 you know 1920 by 824 it's weird but so what you want to do, same thing, you want to go into all this stuff and you want to enable uh, on your normal videos, you want to enable your every video to open with MPC8C as that's the program that's going to work with it. So for me, we'll just do it this way. We'll go into my gameplay folder and to get it to work like that, you would just right click on any video and highlight open with and then go to choose default program and you would search out the media player classic home cinema like you did before uh, it would just be program files x86 SVP MPC HC folder and then double click the icon that's exactly all you have to do to get your home or not home videos but your videos on your PC to actually do the same thing. Uh, go from 30 FPS to 60 FPS or so on. You could push it further if you wanted. But I have it tied to my refresh rate. But anyways guys, I hope this helps you out. This is something really simple and really good that I feel needs the attention. It's something that I think YouTube should make it everything 60 FPS by standard. Uh, especially nowadays, but it waters everything down and it puts it to 30 FPS. Sometimes it puts it to 27 or 29. But Anyways, this was my workaround, and it works wondrously. Hopefully you guys find this useful. This was Spade, and I'll see you later.